Yes, so we have another question on the multi factor productivity, and we are going to solve it, right? So, from the question, you realize that you are being for that week times the labor hours per week. So, these are the final answers. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have seen. Yes, so we have another question on the multi factor productivity. And we are going to solve it, right? So, from the question, we realize that we are being asked to find the multi factor productivity for the production of chocolate bars. And as I said in the other video, always, whenever you are giving questions of this nature, it is essential for you to first write down your formula. By writing down your formula, you know how to go about your question. Right, because the question gives you things that you have to use to find another thing. In this question, what we are finding is the multi factor productivity, right, for the production of chocolate. Now, this is the formula, right? This is a more generic formula. So, we have the multi factor productivity, MFP. So, from here on out, when you see MFP on the board, it's standing for the multi factor productivity. Very well. Now, the equation is giving us output all over the sum of all input costs right remember that we said the multi-factor productivity deals with cost right so whenever you are giving your values as seen in the question realize that the output was given in units the material was given in pounds you have to convert them into dollars or you have to con convert them into cost exactly so we have prepared and we have a table from the question and this is another table that we will use to solve for the multi-factor productivity right because four weeks you're given in a question week one week two week three week four you want to solve all individually so some of all input costs right in this question the inputs that were involved in the production of chocolate were labor materials and overhead so we are going to take a look at how all these are solved Let's start with labor. Yes, so let's talk about how we solve the labor cost. Now, the formula for solving the labor cost per week or for each week is given as the number of workers for that week times the labor hours per week. That week, right? Times the cost of labor per hour, right? Now, as per the question, the cost of labor per hour was given as $12 per hour. Now, the labor hours per week was assumed as 40 hours, right? So now, what we do is simply, for week one, we have number of workers. Number of workers was six. So it's gonna be six times labor hours per week. So six times 12 times the cost of labor per hour. That would be six times 12 times 40. So for week 2 will be 7 times 12 times 40 and so on, right? So let's quickly solve on the board. Exactly, so solving using the formula and substituting the values into the formula. These are the values we obtain for the labor cost per week. So all we have to do now is fill in our table, right? So exactly, so moving on, we take a look at the material cost. Yeah, so let's solve for the material cost, right? So, material cost per week, MCPW, is given as what? The pounds used per week times the cost per pound. And the pounds used per week was given in the question, right? So, we want 450 to 470 and all that. And the cost per pound from the question was given as $6, right? So, let's substitute these values and solve for each week. Yes, so these are the values, right? So all we have to do now is simply put these values into our table, right? Right, so we compute our overhead cost now. As for your question, overhead cost was given as 1.5 times the labor cost of that particular week, right? So let's say if you were to compute the overhead cost for week one, that would be 1.5 times the labor cost of that week. So, as demonstrated over here, each week, right, 
let's say we quant over over cost per quant is equal to 1.5 times the labor cost of a quant. This is the labor cost of a quant, right? So you see, so 1.5 times that will be two. That's all we've done over here. And these are the answers. So now we substitute this into the table or we put them into the table and we substitute them into the MFP equation, right? That's the multi-factor productivity equation in order to get the multi-factor productivity. So let's do that. Yes, yeah, so we are now here at the end. So the multi-factor productivity, right? Output all over the sum of all input costs. So that gives us for this question in particular labor cost plus material cost plus overhead cost very well now for the first week so now we just use our values right the values we'll be using specifically are the ones over here the output values the output goes to the top we want we want two three four right now we use this Cause that we have measured and determined by our calculations as the denominators, right? So, so just point it on your calculator and compare answers, right? So, these are the final answers rounded up towards two decimal places. Very well. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have gained understanding. If you found this video to be useful, kindly subscribe and there will be more questions in the pdf some answered and some unanswered for you to try your hands on if you have any challenge in solving any of those questions kindly reach out to me my contact information is in the description thank you very much